How's it going, Ding Dongs? Welcome to part two of the digital mirror saga that I like to call it. So in the first video, I made this housing to house the camera and make it tilt up and down, wired them in. We found out a couple problems with the layout. The camera was facing too much towards the car, so I've created three different bases. And as you can see, if I line them up, they're all different thicknesses. And what that does is it will tilt the camera outwards more with each one. I don't remember the exact angles, but I think this is like 10 degrees, 20 degrees, and I think like 35 degrees more tilt. The main part of this video is the new dash system that I was talking about with the new tablet. So let me walk you through how I designed this. So the core of the system starts with this new tablet holder. Uh, the brackets are slightly redesigned. These are mostly the same. They just have different mounting points, but all the pickup points for the dash are all still exactly the same. I just made new brackets for it that are smaller and simpler. So this piece printed in two pieces, you see comes together with three screws here and then the brackets attach with screws here and then these hidden screws in there. And then this whole piece sits inside the dash. So you put the tablet in. I have these uh, little felt pads in the corners here to hold the tablet in tighter. I just realized this would be much better explained if it was inside the car. Okay, so as I was saying, bracket goes in first. Plug it in, stuff the wires in. It's a nice slot for them right there, or for it. This bracket goes on. So I'm putting the screw in. You see that fits perfectly. Lines right up with the edge. I'm only gonna put in two screws for now because it's not final install or anything. And then come the secondary screen mounts. And now the fun part that I've been working on for days. There's quite a bit of wiring because we have the switches for the camera. So up and down, side to side. On the left side, I've added a turn signal switch. And on the right side screen, camera controls. And then here we have daylight running lights and headlights. So this side's kind of a pain because gauge in the cluster or the dash here, but just fits like that. So this might be an older print because I think I've adjusted this to not clash here because right now it is touching this, but I'm not really too worried about it touching this because this is all going away. So let me explain what these wires are. So this obviously I have to duplicate on the other side. This is the loom for the motors. This goes to the motors in the camera. And then I put little XT60 plugs. I've already changed the design here. So this whole piece here in the new design is chopped off. So there's a big gap here and just the screw mount is left. The dash works, the screens work when they do work. So, but yeah, look how much bigger that dash is. It's pretty awesome. Sorry, it's a short video today, Ding Dong. It's just a small little update. But I promise this project is gonna be well worth the wait. All the parts for the next project are coming in. Got a box over there. Got this over here. Got some other stuff spread around the garage, but that's coming next. And after that, there's just so much happening right now. I don't even know how to, I can't even keep track of stuff anymore. Got the FDF arms I need to put on. Um, yeah, there's just a lot happening. So. Make sure, if you're not subscribed, which 80% of you aren't, make sure you subscribe. So yeah, Ding Dongs, that's gonna wrap up this video. I have a stupid little short video coming on that diesel heater if you guys are interested. That thing's rips, but that's gonna be it for today, Ding Dongs. I'll see you guys next week. Peace out. America, America, America. Do you have your passport?